estimates. Let's break down the numbers with Kevin Rodingoffs, the lead tech analyst at Edgewater Research, who joins us on the phone. It's great to talk to you, Kevin, today. All right, talk to me a little bit about how Micron beat and now what you anticipate going into 2020. Sure. Uh, the results were, you know, ahead of the, the midpoint and in, in where they guided. Um, I, I think they had been effective at conferences, kind of talking about seasonality, uh, which had maybe tempered expectations going into the quarter. Uh, looking ahead uh, to the guidance, uh, we feel like they're, they're probably guiding prudently, uh, conservatively. Uh, it, it feels like the, the cycle in our research is, is just getting uh, ready to, to turn higher. Uh, so we're encouraged, uh, and we, uh, they said in, in the release that they think this is the bottom of the cycle. Uh, as I look through the slide deck, they talk about supply growth uh, below demand growth. Uh, those are, are very encouraging signs. I think we agree with them in, in our research. Are you thinking that the, de the pickup in demand next year will resolve the inventory glut that Micron had this year? Yeah, I think to a large degree that that's already resolved. Uh, and again, uh, encouragingly on, on this quarterly report, the inventory in their own balance sheet went down. We think the inventory in the supply chain uh, has gone down uh, and think we're poised for uh, pricing to, to start to turn higher in DRAM uh, as a result. What's your recommendation on the stock very quickly? Uh, it's our favorite idea going into 2020. Despite a big run up this year, about 70% or so year to date, 4% uh, this evening. Kevin, thank you.